<laughs> Let me tell you about the life I live, right? Better known as the baller life. It's not. Uh, uh. I'm all about my baller status. Just doing it big on a daily basis. Like cruising in my car, chilling at the bar. What's up, YouTube? This is James from Ball on a Budget Auto. It's official, y'all. It's official. And for all y'all that have been following me, you know I've been working on this Mustang. But I was just sideswiped by it. Well, we won't say that. But out of the blue, man, my Volkswagen Jetta to 2012 2.5 liter SE. My baby wanted to mess with me. I don't know. So, I mean, I guess I got jealous because I was working on all these other cars. So I got an EPC light out of nowhere which is an electronic power control warning. It can be anything from your throttle body, your throttle pedal, and also possibly even your cruise control, which is, you know, random as fuck. But hey, we figured it out. So what happened was all of a sudden, I was coming back from work, y'all. I was coming back from work and I'm like 45 an hour away. So this is what happened. Intermittently pushing on the pedal, my car would just like not want to accelerate. Like it was like half ass accelerating. Like, I don't know what the fuck that's all about. And I was also getting a check engine light too. So clearly there was an issue, but knowing that it was the acceleration, I already had a feeling that it was the throttle body. I went ahead and just got a throttle body brand new. I wasn't going to mess with a used part because I mean, that Volkswagen's brand new. So I got it at 30,000 miles. So shit, that's a deal and a half. The only thing is it wanted to act up on me now. Like now, already, like right now, you know. So I went in and got a brand new part. I know you're used to me getting used parts, but I want it to last the life of the car. So that throttle body itself was 80 maybe or so. I mean, it was on eBay, great deal. So we'll see if this new throttle body will do the trick. I'm really needing to drive this to work. I mean, it's fine, I got another car, but I really enjoy driving the Volkswagen because it's great on gas. So, I mean, it's vital for my traveling. I mean, I ain't trying to haul this SUV around, man. It drives well, first German car, first Volkswagen. So, I mean, this is new to me. Working on this car is just a whole nother world to me. So, you know, it's interesting, but I ain't trying to be having to do this right now. Like I just got this car. It's got 30,000 miles on it and it already messing up. So, I mean, what? Like, all right, but whatever. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get it over with. We're gonna fix this issue legit, so. Let's jump on this, man. All right, guys, just turned the key on my 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. And as you can see, I've got a check engine light and the EPC. Right before this, I explained to you what the EPC was. The check engine light actually is reading P0222. That has something to do with the throttle body position sensor or the accelerator pedal position sensor. Today, we're going to go ahead and change out the throttle body because I was having issues with acceleration. So with the throttle body changed, I should get much better response time on the accelerating and also much better acceleration overall. All right, let's get started. Wanted to show you guys my little setup. I want to be able to drive my car to work tomorrow with this EPC issue. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, rain or shine, I gotta be working on my cars. So I'm just kidding. Well, so much for that, I'm gonna have to place that somewhere. In order to access our throttle body, we're gonna have to start by taking off this engine cover. So that's gonna require us to twist off the oil cap, unscrew our filter housing, and disconnect this clamp right here. Beginning with the filter housing, the Volkswagen actually requires one of these star patterns. Can't really tell you what size this is, but what fits so we're going to start by unscrewing that and then there's another one on the other side now we should be able to disconnect our filter housing there and then we're going to go ahead and disconnect this clamp from the mass airflow sensor i just like to use regular pliers Go ahead and wiggle that down. Now we're going to disconnect the oil cap. Now I'm pulling on this. It's on there pretty good. We're going to start by taking off this cover. As I said, so there was two screws here. We had to unclamp the mass airflow. We had to take off the cap. And the one thing that was super hard to get this case off was that these are actually held in by grommets. See these? Two in the front and then two in the back. So you gotta use two hands on this corner, pull it up, two hands in the back corner, pull it up, and then two hands on this corner. All right, let's go ahead and get in this back, back corner, which I'm assuming 
It's right around here. Oh, wow. All right, there we go. Now we can go ahead and take this cover out of the way. Here's our throttle body right here. So that's the next thing that we got to change. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery. It just takes a 10 millimeter. Go ahead and wiggle that off. There we go. And I'm going to put that down there so it doesn't pop up and ground and shock us. You know, we ain't trying to die today. Not today. So now that our cover is out of the way and our mass airflow is out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get access to the throttle body. First, we're going to disconnect this tube. We're going to unclamp the rest of this intake housing that attached to the mass airflow. Clamp is terrible. It looks like we have to wedge underneath it with like a flathead screwdriver in order to get that off of there. This is seriously a terrible clamp. Man, this is the worst clip I've ever dealt with. So after messing with this clip for probably about 10, 15 minutes, I finally dug in there and broke the dang thing. So I don't know who Volkswagen thinks they are, but they ain't. So I'm gonna put my own clip on there when we get this throttle body out. All right, so now we're gonna start by taking off this clamp. And then we're going to go ahead and wiggle off the remainder. Right under here we got a connector that we got to wedge off. There we go. Oops. Pops right off. It was up to remember to attach that back to the intake housing. Now we have full access to the throttle body. So we have one, two, three, and then four of those star bits that we need to use. And I'm gonna go ahead and untighten this throttle body. There's one. There's two. That's the third one. Let's see if we can get this fourth and final one here. Finally, there we go. space so there we go we got all four off okay with all four bolts unscrewed we can take throttle body off we'll go ahead and just leave that gasket i'm not worried about it at this time and then now we got this wire harness that we need to detach so there's a clip that you push on and then there we are we have our old throttle body out and then just for good measure let's go ahead and see if our throttle bodies are the same Yep, looks like they're the exact match. I mean, this old one may look a little bit bigger, but I believe this should work. Let's start by reattaching it. Grabbing our new throttle body. We're gonna go ahead and start by reconnecting the clip. With our clip in place, we're gonna go ahead and set the screws in, make sure they all line up. We'll start by lightly tightening them. And then our last and final one needs to be tightened in. Now that the throttle body is in there nice and tight, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect this hose down here. Should just push right into place. Just gonna go ahead and give it an extra push just to make sure it's on there tight. There we go, it's on there. Let's go ahead and reconnect our throttle body. Now we got our clip back in place. Go ahead and slide our hose on. We'll put a clip on there here in a little bit. And then the last thing we gotta do is reconnect our cover with our mass airflow sensor.
And then the last thing we gotta do is just reassemble everything. I've got the case lined up with all the grommets. I went ahead and slid the filter housing back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and push all the corners in. Put back on our oil cap. Screw in the air filter housing. Put back on our mass air tubing. And then put the clamp back on. Okay, and then let's go ahead and start it back up. Okay, back in the car, let's go ahead and start it up. Ooh. EPC light is gone. Looks like it was the throttle body. Now all I gotta do is wipe that check engine light out and we'll be okay. I just gotta test drive the car. Ah, oh, it feels so good not seeing any lights, no EPC, no check engine light. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. All right, the work is done, man. I, I'm glad that it's working now. This Volkswagen Jetta, you know, it's different. It's different from what I've worked on in the past. So, I mean, we're gonna, it's gonna be a learning experience with this car, but I'm happy that we got it resolved. That throttle body worked perfectly. It's a little bit smaller, looks a little different, but it actually does a trick. I feel like the car is accelerating a lot better than before. It's accelerating beautifully. And now I can go back to driving that car to work. <sighs> Saving gas, man, I'm telling you. So I hope this video is helpful. If so, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see the latest content from Ballin' on a Budget Auto, go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, stay tuned. I hope this video is helpful. If so, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing so you can see more content from Ballin' on a Budget Auto.